Hello and welcome back to the Pet Tune channel. I hope you've been enjoying the videos I've been putting up right here from the Pet Tune studios on the beautiful Gold Coast of Australia. Uh, I've been getting lots of mail, thousands, thousands of comments. Um, so it's obviously uh, hitting the mark with a lot of people. I'd just like to read one of these comments if I can with my, with my glasses here. It's from Cheval Hopper. She's from France. She was answering the question about whether I thought that I was putting out the opinion that uh, technology might be taking over the arts and whether it's really art or not. Um, if a computer does it is, it, is it art? And she has kindly written, she comments that art done by program machines is not art at all, just by definition. Then she goes on to say, keep up the good work and would you like to meet me for coffee? I'm 86 last birthday and I need a toy boy. Well, how <laughs> You know, I've got management here that keeps a very strict rein on those sort of things. Um, it's all business as far as I'm concerned. Um, she, yeah, as I said, management keeps me on a tight leash, an even tighter leash than Wilson the Invisible Dog. Doesn't she, Wilson? Yes, a very tight leash indeed. <laughs> Wilson, he's a dag, yeah. Yeah, tight leash. So, sorry, Cheval, there'll be none of that on this channel. The next, next comment is from Josh Foothead, and he asks, why don't you do more ghost videos? That'd be a lot more interesting. Well, Josh, you know, I sometimes think that the Pet Tomb studio is haunted. There are strange goings on, uh, noises at night, uh, rattlings, you know, and I, I have thought that I could do a little couple of videos and just to get into that, that ghosty sort of stuff. But uh, eventually I come back to my senses and realize this is an art discussion sort of tutorial channel and haunted or not, I won't be doing any ghost videos. So thanks Josh for your comments and your advice and uh, you know, make a, a better comment next time. Anyway, this time we're doing a pet tune, a quick pet tune. I'm not doing a tutorial as such. I'm just uh, doing a, a, a pet tune from a client whose cat passed away many years ago actually. And it's a little bit different because he hasn't got any photos of it. He's from a time when you didn't take a lot of photos. But he wrote a description and I sent back some samples. And uh, he, he sent back the, the photo that best suited for his cat, Toby. And as I said, it's a little unusual because these days we just take photos of everything. But we had to go by our imagination a little bit. So I'm going to do that now. And here it comes. This is a picture we settled upon for Toby. And as usual, I do a sketch first, then transfer that sketch onto A3 art paper, and then I begin to paint.
And after all that, there is the finished pet tune. Yeah, Toby was a good old cat. It's funny those things they wear around their, around their necks. Uh, they obviously don't like them, dogs, cats. I don't know if there's any other animals that would do it that you'd need to. Probably a horse. Nah, not really. But anyway, the cats look funny with it on and so do the dogs. He's going to get his pet tune and if you want a pet tune, you can uh, comment in the, in the box below and we can certainly discuss it. And, uh, and you can have your own pet tune of some incident that happened uh, years ago, as in this case, or something that happened yesterday with your goldfish, budgie, horse or camel, whatever. Until then, uh, till next time from the Pet Tune channel, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him. Bye.